combos. Uh, did Nikita into grenades into up air. He started a combo with Nikita. Um, it was super sick. However, I think a tougher time here. Um, Palatina going to be able to abuse Nyx's advantage due to her speed a little bit better than Hero might have. So this is going to be a new challenge for Bobo this time around. Absolutely, and I definitely love already the way that, you know, Jen has been absolutely using his knowledge when it comes to this character. A lot of the time, we did see him Nair, of course, but also there's a lot of situations where whenever, you know, Snake is in the air, he also drops grenade in hand. So a lot of the time when you are position positioning yourself correctly, you actually get around a lot of the grenade, which would actually probably harm you in a lot of situations because, again, it stops your combo. It stops you doing from a lot of what you normally would want to do, and that was a very nice combo from Jen. We also love Gen combos. Gen combos are pretty amazing, let's be completely honest. And the core and those bread and butters are so, so important as Palo down to a bear, especially against big characters like Snake that you want to be keeping off the stage, keep them in disadvantage where they struggle the most. Nice tech right there by Bobo to uh, maintain positioning and not get hit by uh, the explosive flame. However, going to need to be able to get into advantage to hear himself and is going to be able to do so. That up smash, nice DI by Jen to not get hit by the grenade as well, uh, the mortar as well, I should say. And is now looking to take the stock off. However, Bo not relenting, and his defensive play has been pretty good thus far. And an up to Castellanic to take the stock. Really nice bit of a comeback right there by Bobo. Absolutely. Ooh. And getting into this next stock, we're already seeing 37%. And this is definitely where we need to be a little bit scared because, as we already know about Snake, if Snake is, like, you know, in the lead, it's going to be a long time if you don't actually take that stock just a little bit soon. We do not want to see another situation. Oh, yeah. You can't do that. Nope. Um, yeah, you get reflected on. Again, people tend to forget that she has one just because, like, oh, it's, it's her counter. But no, of course, a uh, reflect attached to that as well. And it's going to cost Bobo his first stock. With that said, still a nice lead going into stock number two. Uh, however, not anything that Palatina can't make back. Ooh, and a quick dare. He, Jen's dares are so good. Like, Absolutely. no one's Palu dares like, like Jen's Palu. Like, the mix-ups that, that he does with it are really, truly incredible. And not only that, it's such a good tool, especially out of shield, when there's a lot of situations where you can actually punish things out of shield. People think that just because it's Palutena, she can normally just nair out of shield, right? There are so many tools in this game where Palu can't actually punish them out of shield. So Jen, you know, being the player he is, actually resorts to downer to get a lot of those punishes. Oh, they just take off the top. Uh, the close going to be able to do just that. Of course, fairly early kills with that move. Um, yeah, that's like the, the okay. I knew it was there that time, but that is like the eighth time today that like Bobo has just killed someone on stream because they didn't know where the C4 was. Um, so Bo Bobo has the awareness and is, is really using it to his advantage, but um, really a, 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 a big issue of not knowing where that C4 is. And it is tough to see on the platforms, but um, still a, a, a big issue thus far versus Bobo in these sets. Ooh, Gem looking at that landing. Ooh, that was a sick mix. That Ooh. was so good. Ooh, oh, you're dead. Yeah. Absolutely going to take that stock with only 42%. And that was definitely a really good game. Lost that first stock, but definitely kept a lot of the pressure going. Definitely avoided a lot of, you know, grenades, which is essentially a really mo really important part about this, you know, matchup. If you're not playing, you know, very patiently or very consciously, like, aware of where everything is, you are going to absolutely struggle against Snake. Yeah, and, and Bobo there was definitely trying to trade with a grenade. Um, you saw the ending B reverse neutral B there to get that grenade out. Um, however, Jen's up B disjointed enough to take that stock regardless without making the grenade explode. Grenade may have, explosion may have just killed Snake anyway there. Um, but with that said, we're going straight to this game too. We're going right back to PS2. Ooh, mystery action there by Jen. Pretty big, actually. Now allows Snake to start the advantage state and get a whole lot of damage! Ooh, wow, period. Very nice with only 26% on the board. That was such a good F smash. Two frame. And Jen is already trying to take that stock back. You saw that down yeah, and there. You, and you gotta. Mm -hmm. You got. Oh, okay, Bobo. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, but. Yeah, with that said, as Jen, you kind of have to be aggressive here. Wow, great air dodge. Did not think that was going to be enough for him to make that back. And that dare, as active as it is, going to be able to cover that and get a quick 54% on to Jen. And these trades are all good for Bobo. We have said before, Snake with the lead is truly horrifying, truly one of the best characters in the game with the lead. Yep, nice grab by the Bobo to get the up smash to hit. 
Yeah, no, Upsis is a scary tool to ledge for ledge chopping. Looking for, um... Ooh, okay. Quick crawl. Really nice right there by the wall. Great awareness. Absolutely. I definitely really love oh, you're that outcome. That was... The C4 stuck to, to Jen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was coming eventually. Mm -hmm. okay. You're not gonna go? Absolutely. And that is Jen with only one stock left. He definitely has to play very, very smart right now because he can definitely just die at any point right now. Obviously, even though we're at, you know, very low percent, it's definitely one of those things that you be very conscious of because it's Snake. Why, why don't you want to have fun against Snake and die at, like, I don't know, 20? And take uh, 30 or 40 percent off the single combo. Oh, God, almost again. Um, okay. Yeah, and great. The grenade covered the roll back in. Get, uh, really, that, uh, get up attack was the only thing that would, wouldn't have been covered there. Gen off the two neutral get up, and Bo was in a great position at 82% already off the gen. And having an advantage, up air is not going to be enough that, or yet, being that uh, Snake was above Palu. Oh, you're stuck. Yeah, you're still stuck. Yeah. <laughs> two sticks. Mm -hmm. Take the stock. And Bobo is, I'll be honest, kind of moving. Kind of mm, moving absolutely. with the snakes. The B reverses, all of it, it's there. Yeah. Oh, that was a B reverse stick, too. Kind of nasty. And you want to know the whole reason why that situation was there in the first place? Because Jen definitely looked like he wanted to drop down back here. Yeah. Like, that, that, that was the definitely The shield was the out. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Or at least down air. Maybe drop down the down air, but still. And then B reverse, stickied. Um, and that bear pressure on the shield. I'm surprised the cross up bear didn't end up sticking uh, Bobo back. But with that said, um, a really, really solid game number two for Bobo. And again, grenades have played such a bit. Goodness, that was a risky recovery by Dennis, say the least. Ooh, and that grenade saving Bobo's skin right there could have potentially been a explosive into up air. And on the low ceiling of PS2, could have very, very easily been a stock for Jen. I definitely feel like this is. Definitely a little bit of a scary situation, only specifically because there's been a lot of times where Jen wants to get back to center stage, or just even stage overall. And again, like that first time he died, he died because he tried to um, get back to ledge and got two frames for it. And every single time, Bob has been trying to hit all of these, you know, two frames and has not been getting it. So I feel like maybe it's just one of those situations where Jen needs to be a little bit more cognizant of all of these things because he's always been in a position to always like be right next to ledge. All right. Now Jen having difficulty coming out of disadvantage after a really strong advantage state himself um, against Bobo, but a quick dash and up tilt. I think a missed input there on the smash uh, explosive flame, sending it a little too far. Um, and it's going to cost Jen his stock, but no upbeat there for Bobo. Uh, did not have one there. So pretty big uh, opportunity for Jen now. Gonna see if there's an opportunity for um, to capitalize on it and get a little bit of damage on this lead. Ooh. Wow, huge disadvantage reads right now for Jen. Okay, he's supposed to not gonna come out. Ooh, this is definitely very scary. We just saw a complete reversal of what actually You're happened dead. in that. You're dead! That was Absolutely. one advantage state that Jen just guessed right, kept the read on point for against Bobo and it netted him a full stock and this is gonna be some big damage as well right now for Jen staying center stage I love it maintaining that position that has worked out so well for him thus far Ooh, looking for the quick spike a great DI in right there by Jen to save his stock absolutely and this is definitely just a whole reversal a whole just flip right on side of his head you definitely need to be very careful right there very nice on Jen, and Jen is still trying to put on the damage because Jen doesn't want to be in another situation where he's back in, you know, a very non-favorable position and trying to make this comeback. Ooh, okay. But again, okay. Quick f right there by uh, Bobo. Uh, the T4 in the corner. Difficult positioning right now. Ooh, that was a whole lot of shield pressure onto Bobo and an excellent up tilt knowing that Jen was likely going to jump out of shield there to try and get out of the situation. That grenade may be hurting Bobo there, putting him in a higher percent range and also a maybe worse position against Palutena. Back Ooh. airs, not enough just yet. We were definitely very scared. Jen is definitely looking for a lot of these aerials. Ooh, dash tech still not enough. Snake's so heavy. Nikita. Oh, that Ooh. grenade saving Bobo there, but honestly, another grenade might just flat out kill Snake at that height. Dash tech. 
Nice lunge cancel by Jen to get out of the situation. That's Ooh, it. Is absolutely going to take it. Very nice on Jen's part. But definitely very well fought for Bobo. Definitely, again, like you said, Bobo was moving. Kind of moving, especially mm -hmm. in that game number two. Um, but with that said, uh, the pressure of Jen, especially in that advantage state, that whole second stock was kind of ridiculous. And this does poke, I believe. No, okay, it just uh, missed parry um, and tried to punish immediately. Can't do that against Palo's multi hits. Mm -hmm. And that is going to confirm straight into the up tilt. Stock number two was gross. Stock number mm -hmm. two for Jen mm -hmm. was super mm -hmm. gross. One, one advantage state. Period. They just kept getting the read on, taking the stock. Period. And it was huge. It, it, it won Jen the game. That, that one stock won the Jen the game. The Prince of New York, period. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about it.